We've talked about a simple harmonic oscillator several times now, but let me show you a few other visual things you can take from the example. Let's set up a simple harmonic oscillator with a mass of 1 and spring constant of 1. Of course, damping is 0. Let's do several examples where I have mm, initial displacement of 2, initial velocity of 0. So mass and spring are pretty evenly matched here, and I see the position and velocity functions oscillating with the same frequency and pretty well balanced. What's going to happen if I let the mass dominate the stiffness of the spring? So let's move the mass up to 1.5 and the stiffness of the spring down. So what's going to happen here is this object's going to move more slowly. We're not going to get as much variation in the velocity, but we'll start with the same displacement of the same displacement variation from plus 2 to minus 2. So watch what happens to the velocity curve now. Also notice the frequency oscillation is slowed, but the velocity curve does not vary as it did before. The variation of the velocity curve is less than the variation in the position curve at 2. And the frequency of oscillation is much slower. Now let's switch the situation. Let's let the spring constant be 1.5 and let the mass be 0 0.5. So the spring's going to be pretty tight. It's going to dominate the mass here. And let's start with the same initial position of 2, initial velocity of 0. What's going to happen this time? The velocity swings much more wildly and the frequency of the oscillation is increased. So this mass is swinging back and forth quickly and the velocity varies greater than the displacement varies.